life's treasures, the blood of our beloved mother is offered up from within her earthen breast. Its sweetness, like the richest of wines, a nectar fermented and rendered from the fruit of the gods, and is her purest gift, bleeding from the pores of earth's skin, and creates life from the birth of her springs. As they percolate into streams, they bring life to hills and valleys, and from struggling to straighten their banks, they carve a scar unto the earth, carrying with them the secrets born from rock and clay and the dust of our fathers forgotten in time. Though small, the yearning of their currents had the strength of twisting roots, and like veins they desperately reach out to the arteries of the river's surge. Their currents then race like a stormy wind's conviction and travel timelessly, streaming to fulfill their destinies. Their unstoppable courageousness is like he who desperately reaches out to save a loved one. Nearing the journey's end, the tired banks release the surge's relentless will, setting free the current's bountiful mysteries, now hopelessly sinking from the weight of life's mercies. And then, as do the longest days become dust, life's secrets come to rest within the beckoning chambers and still fathoms of the sea's watery bosom. We witness the elegant beauty of the curling waves gracefully caressing their boundaries, stroking the shoreline's confinement in submissive surrender. But we too see the rebellion as they pound upon their borders with the fury of the heavens, only to be transformed into foam, forced to give up their prizes, unchaining and setting free the secrets once hidden in their souls. Life's treasures lay in the heat of the frothy sand, waiting to be discovered. And now that these treasures have been exposed, they tell the story of pain and joy, birth and death, life and love. Our understanding and acceptance of each moment's experience is as the commitment of the river's changing direction. And in its progression, there is growth. For that which we understand then becomes who and what we are. And that which we do not accept, like the depths of the seas, is locked in the quietness of our soul's deepest chambers. And our understanding of ourselves becomes like a stream that has been landlocked, unable to fulfill its destiny, its journey from the bosom of its mother to the revealing shores of time.